Hey guys, this is Chef Chris, and today we are making sweet corn cake. Delicious. What a great compliment to any kind of Mexican dish, enchiladas, rellenos, uh, gorditas, any kind of spicy dish just works perfect with it. It's sweet, it's moist, it's succulent, it's awesome. I learned this at a little Mexican restaurant up there in New Mexico called Gardunios. If you're from New Mexico, you should know what I'm talking about. But um, you guys are going to enjoy it. We're going to get started. All right, so we're going to start preheating our oven to 350 degrees. This is a very fast, very simple recipe. So go ahead and get that oven started. In a food processor, we have got some corn. Now, you don't want to use any kind of charred corn on the grill, anything you char boiled or anything like that. You want to use just regular corn maybe that you boiled. Canned corn will be fine. We can use uh, even frozen corn. Just make sure it equals out to about one and a half cups, which is actually one can of corn, okay? Now we're gonna throw it in a food processor and we're gonna blitz it. You don't want this to be mushy, but you don't want the kernels to be too big either. Uh, just give it a pulse, check it. Give it a pulse and that was perfect. All right, so in a bowl, we have got one stick of butter that has obviously been softened. I let it out there and get it soft. I'm gonna give it a nice whip, make sure it is very, very creamy. To this, we are gonna add some masa harina. Now, I have all the ingredients down listed below so you don't have to write them down, okay? And we're also gonna add a little bit of water so that flour doesn't dry it up. Now, masa harina, don't get it confused with corn meal. It's corn flour, okay? You can find it most likely in any kind of supermarket, grocery store. Definitely find it in any kind of Mexican stores for sure. All right, to that, we're gonna add in our corn that we blitzed up. And uh, we're going to incorporate that. Just make sure everything's mixed well, finely, so you don't have too much butter in one area. All right, now it's time to mix up our dry ingredients. So we're going to start off with some cornmeal, like I mentioned earlier. We are using cornmeal. We're also going to use some sugar, a little bit of salt, and some baking powder. Now, I never have baking powder on hand. I always make it myself. Just a little quick tip. It's two parts cream of tartare versus one part baking soda, okay? Very simple. I always make it myself, and um, it's good. To that, we're also going to add a little bit of cream, and we're going to give it a nice stir and make sure there's no lumps. Everything in here, you want to make sure you stir very, very well, okay? All right, we're done. We're good, and we're done basically with the recipe. We're going to throw that right into the corn butter flour mixture, Mix that very well, incorporate that very, very well. Stir, 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 and mix, and we're done. Time to put it inside of a baking pan. Now I'm using just a regular loaf pan that I used to make bread or any kind of noodle dish probably. Uh, as long as it's eight by eight, you're good. We're gonna go ahead and pour it right in there, make sure it's well evenly distributed. So go ahead and grab your paddle or your spatula and pat it down. All right, now uh, we're gonna go and cover this with some tin foil. Wanna make sure that it doesn't come out crispy at all. This is gonna be very moist, okay? So cover it with some tin foil, and we're gonna put it in a water bath. That'll ensure it'll be very, very moist. So uh, basically, we're gonna put that little casserole dish inside of a bigger one, fill it up with some hot water, or warm water is fine, about a third, halfway up, and we're good. Go ahead and stick that right into the oven very, very carefully. You don't want any of that water to spill all out very carefully, and we're good. All right, set that timer for 55 minutes, and when those 55 minutes are up, you have got this gorgeous, moist corn cake. Not cornbread, if it's possible. I love cornbread, but this might be even better. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's moist, it's corny, and that was corny, but it is great, guys. Goes great with enchiladas, any kind of really spicy dish. But that's my corn cake recipe, guys. Any recipes you guys would like to learn how to make, let me know. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy.